Okay guys, today is the day I'm finally going to unveil what I hope to be known for for the rest of my life is the massive best glute burner workout that you'll ever do. And if this is the mark I leave on the world, I'll be so happy. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, so this one starts on all fours. We're going to go into that quadruped position. Our shoulders are going to go down and back. We're going to start with our right leg. I just always tend to start with my right leg, no matter how hard I try to vary it. And our goal here is to try to keep both hips parallel to the mat. Shoulders are down and back. That core is engaged. Belly button drawn in. Pelvic floor is lifted up. We start with just some straight leg lifts. And watch so that you're not getting into your lumbar spine here. So you don't want to get your low back to arch up and down. So I'm just raising that leg enough that I can feel not only the lift, but also the reach. So I want to reach that toe across the room. So I'm going six, five. This is going to go on for a long time here. <laughs> Three. Good. Last two. And by the way, we're going to hold this leg up. Shoulders are down and back. I'm going to pull my right heel to my glute and then stretch down the back of my leg. And I'm really working to try to point my toe down, although it wants to laterally rotate, so it wants to go out like this, but I'm working hard to pull that toe and stretch it down towards the floor. So I feel this long line down from hip bone to heel. That's it. We're going four more. Protect that low back. Three. Keep pulling those abs in, shoulders down and back. Final one. Good, now we bend this knee in and we're gonna push that heel up to the ceiling. So belly button still drawing in, keeping yourself from arching that low back. Right about now that glute's really on fire. Maybe you're feeling it in your inner thighs too. And that just means you're activating those adductors, those inner thigh muscles, which is great. And we're gonna go four more. Three, two, and one. All right, we're not done yet. This is the point where you start to hate me. We're still using that right knee, and we're going to lift it up into what we used to call those hydrants. Remember the dog kind of peeing on the fire hydrant here? Now, as you do this, try to keep your body from leaning over into your left side. Remember, take a break if you need to. I'm going to keep going as long as I can. Try to keep that left glute from leaning over. Keep the shoulders down and heads up. A lot of times people's heads start to sink down here. Keep that chin up. Last two. Final one. All right, hang with me. We're going up, kick out, in, and down. Eight of these. Try to keep that left elbow from bending. That's it. That's two. There's three. Your right obliques and your left obliques are working here. Four more. Four, and three, aha, uh -huh. two, not done yet guys, last one, bring that knee back up, hold it out here, and we go into eight killer kicks, so holding that leg up, kick out, we got four more, four, and three, and two, Woo. last one, bring it down, now we can push back into those glutes and stretch. Oh yeah, stretch those legs, or sorry, stretch those arms out and stretch that low back and glutes. Yeah, I know, yes, I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, we gotta do the left side now. Now you know what's coming. So plant those knees apart, shoulders down and back, pull up into those abs, left leg extends out, and here we go, lift and lower. Ah, uh, just think how toned those glutes are going to be if you did this every day. Point out of those toes. <sighs> Try to keep your body from leaning over into the right. Heads up. Three. Abs are working. Two. Final one. Perfect. Now we pull the heel into the glute and then reach out. Trying to keep your kneecap and your toe pointing down and trying not to arch your low back here. Abs are working. We got this, guys. Now you know what's coming. Just keep pressing through. This is where you find out what you're made of. You got more in there than you know. Two. Last one. Bending the knee. 
Heel goes up to the ceiling. Feel that right glute or left glute working. I know you feel your right one as well. That's it. Five, four, deep abs are working. Three, two, and one. Lower that knee into the hydrants we go. So 90 degree knee bend. We just lift that leg, knee and ankle up. Eight of everything, guys, if that helps you. Four more. Four. Try not to lean on the side. Three, two, and one. And now we go into the extension. So it's up. Kick out. Bring it in and down. See how I want to bend my right elbow? Try to keep it straight. Keep that head up. That's three. Five more. Five. Get that knee up. Come on. Four. Whew. Three. Last two. Heads up. Final one. Bring the knee all the way down. Reset. Killer kicks for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. We're almost there, guys. Two. Heads up. Final one. Bring that knee down. Uh, stretch it out. Ooh, great job. But wait. There's more. Yay. I know you wanted to hear that. So we're going to be back up. Set those shoulders down and back. We're going to start with our right leg again, extend the leg out, and then we're going to pull this knee outside towards your elbow, and then stretch it back out. So we got eight of those. So it's just an in and out. This time the knee is pointing to the side, so lateral. That's it. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Now pull it back in, then let it go down to your left knee. Extend it out and pull it back around again. So we make these circles. That's three, four, three, you got it. Two, I'm counting down now. And one, hold here. We reverse to so pull it in, out, and around. Just like a hurdler. Moves that hip around. Yes, home stretch, guys. Four more, four, uh, three. Two, and one, and bring it down. Yes, shift back into those hips. We do the left side now. You know it. Come on, left side, strong side, right? Shoulders down and back. Oh, extend that left leg out, knee points out. Pull the knee up to your elbow, press it out. Come on, heads up. Come in strong. Four, we got four more, four. Three, two, and one. And now we go into the hurdler. So pull the knee in, down to the right, extend out. Feeling that roundness in that hip capsule. Use those obliques. Try to keep your body from falling on over to your right side. We got last three, two, last one, and reverse. Go back the other way. Six, five, pull that head up, four, and three, and two, and one. Oh yeah, bring it down. And once again, we get to shift back into those hips. Oh my goodness, that was great. Congratulations. You did my killer bun series there. That was the killer bun series in quadruped. So now we're going to do the glute series laying down. So laying on your back, you're going to bring your heels up close to your glutes. So you're just about a hand width. You want them in pretty tight. And by the way, if you have a ball, like a, a medicine ball or even a child's playground ball, even a basketball, they're kind of heavy, but that's okay. You can put a ball between your knees and give it a squeeze, and that's going to help turn on those inner thigh muscles, your adductor muscles. So we just really work those outside glutes, and so that would just add a little bit more to those inner thighs, inner glute muscles. So we're going to roll our shoulders back. I like to turn those palms upward. We Remember, we want to crease right here in the hip rather than here in the low back. So keep your back straight, and we're going to go up into a big shoulder bridge, feeling that glute engage there. And then if you have your ball, squeezing onto that ball, and then lower back down. So it's an exhale up. And inhale, lower. Lower that tailbone down onto the mat. Think about reaching the tailbone to the opposite end of your mat so it's going long. And that's going to give you that 
hinge right here at that crease of your hips. That's an exhale lift. Inhale lower. We got six. Shh. Awesome. Five. Four more. Stretch those knees out when you get up there. You got it. Two. And final one. Perfect. Now, if you were using the ball, go ahead and take it out. We're going to bring the knees up back into the shoulder bridge. Keep that back strong and straight. And then from here, we're going to bring our right knee up into the air. Awesome. All right, standing strong on this left leg. You're staying strong on that left glute. We're going to lower your heel, lift it back up. So the way this works is the lo longer that lever, the so farther it gets away from your body, it gets heavier. So not so heavy here, heavier here on that glute. And you're just really working to push that glute high. Three more. And two. Shh. And final one. Bend that knee. I know, a little cumulative damage after all that we already did. Okay, bring it all the way back up. Working strong in that shoulder bridge. Bring that left knee up to tabletop. Reach the heel up to the ceiling. Without any rotation, we lower and lift. Lower and lift. That's it. Reach the heel across the rim. So we're going long that way. And that right glute is on fire. And three more. Keep those inner thighs engaged too. So push down through the arch of your foot. And last one. Awesome job, guys. Bend that knee. Replace it down on the floor. Then let the hips come back down. Okay, we got a couple more variations here. Stay with me. You can do this. Deep breath in. Engage those abs. We come back up to the shoulder bridge. And this time we're going to take that right knee up into tabletop. And then we're going to bend it and tuck the foot underneath your left. And then bring it back up. And then bend it and tuck it under your left. And then kick it up. And then tuck it under your left. So we're adding just a little bit of rotation. Oh yeah, we got three. <laughs> My left glute's working too. I know yours is. And last one. Awesome. Bring that foot back down. Raise those hips back up. Careful that you're not arching your low back. If you feel yourself really arching that low back, think imprint. So kind of tuck that pubic bone up towards your nose. Let the low back stretch out. So now we go left leg up, bend the knee, tuck it under, and then kick it up, bend the knee, tuck it under. You got this. We got five, and four, hang in girls, three, last two, and final one. Whew. All right, foot comes back down to the floor, lower the hips, and then this is our finale here for the back glutes, so lying on the back glutes. So I'm going to extend my right leg up, my toes pointing up in the air. And what I want you to think about is that you're one straight line from your shoulder to your heel. And the, the line is flat right now, and then it's going to come out up at a diagonal. So we're going to raise that heel and hip up in the same diagonal line and lower it back down. I'm focusing my weight right here on this left heel as I lift up and lower down. Once again, this is that longer lever, and I'm trying to keep my hip bones from rotating, meaning that my right hip is just as high as my left. So they should be like this, not like this. Yes. So really push through that left heel. Feel that hamstring turning on and glute. And reach that left knee into that wall in front of you. We got three more. That direction. Two. You got this, guys. Last one. Ha. Sweet. Yes, my buns are burning. Right leg bends, left leg is extending. You got that open chest, shoulders down and back, hips are squared off. Lift into the air without arching your low back. Reach to that heel, feel that right glute engaging. We got this, guys. Hang in. We got five. And four. Home stretch three. 
Two more. Final one, holding it here, feel that inner thigh work, and bring it back down. Amazing. Okay, tuck that pelvis into imprint, let your low back come down to the mat as you bend both knees, and then pull those knees into your chest. Yes, let your femur bones right here just settle into your hips as we stretch this out. Good, now, right leg is gonna go onto the floor, left leg's gonna cross over. We're gonna lace our fingertips behind that right thigh and rock it out a little bit just to stretch into this left medial glute here. So those glutes where we were on our knees are burning this little guy right there. So we wanna take good care of them. Good. All right, release, cross over the other way. We're gonna grab behind that thigh, point that knee out, rock it out side to side. Tuck that chin down. Sometimes our back muscles are tight and they pull us into this neck extension. So we wanna go into a little bit of flexion, tuck that chin in. Yeah, good. Very nice, very nice. Excellent, all right, unspiral those legs. One more time, we're gonna pull those knees into your chest have you guys ever heard of happy baby? I'm glad I'm at the side view of this. So what you're gonna do is pull your knees so they're right down at your armpits, so your feet are straight up at the air. We're gonna take our hands inside your feet and then wrap them around to the outside. Maybe your ankle is all you can reach, that's perfectly fine. But if you can climb up to your foot, the sole of your foot, you're gonna drive the knees straight down at the floor. So you're really opening up your, that space in your inner thighs as you draw your knees down towards the floor and then you open those ankles out a little bit. And then you can rock out side to side and you're happy or angry baby. <laughs> Let's be happy. Let that baby be happy. So proud of you all for pushing it, getting stronger every day. I hope at the end of this, you realize what you're capable of, and you're just proud of the fact that you've tried it. I hope you get to know your body a little bit, to know how it moves, and befriend it, and just be grateful that we're healthy. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much.